Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Living Irving. My name is Tanya and today I'm going to show you how I create cute hairstyles by refreshing my crochet braids with different looks. So if this is something that you may be interested in, then keep on watching. Also, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any uploaded videos. And without further ado, we're going to hop into the video. Welcome to the Living Irving channel. This is for the mature women out here. I see you doing your thing. Okay, so the first hairstyle we're gonna do is one of my faves and it's a big jumbo bun. And I have this bun right here. I will have the link below. I got it off Amazon. It's like a little bun holder. It has a big hole and it's pretty wide. It's a big boy. So I'm gonna take my hair down and you need a big, pretty, a pretty big hair tie that's stretchy because you're dealing with a lot of braids. And what you wanna do is work on you know section by section just getting the hairs up neatly and I am I have traction alopecia my edges are very thin so I'm gonna wear my bun pretty high up in the front so that I can kind of disguise those edges so once you have them up you know try to get them in there neatly just take your stretchy and bring it down as far as you can okay and you don't have to put a lot of tension on your hair like so so now that you have your ponytail you're going to take the big bun and you're going to do the same thing roll it or down to the very bottom of the base like so so now we're just going to take our finger in the middle and just kind of pull hairs around the bun evenly and then we're just going to start stuffing the hairs underneath like so and just wrap everything and tuck it underneath Okay, so you're going to tuck your hairs like that and then you're going to kind of straighten up the bun with some bobby pins. So let's get some pins. now this is how the bun turns out this only takes five minutes really guys it's super easy i'm just going to zhuzh it up with some hair jewels to give it a little pop i'm using these little silver little jewels like this that are tacked in on the ends of a bobby pin and this just gives it a little extra flavor you don't have to do this part if you're not a hair jewelry person I like a little extra pizzazz in my hairstyles and that's the look 